Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Real quick, before I get into this video, I want to tell you about PopCultureZone.com. They are a website specializing in comic books, some of the hottest variants, and CGC comics. And for those raw comics, if you are shipping to the domestic United States, you only pay $4.99 flat rate shipping. PopCultureZone.com. Now on to the video. What's going on guys, Brown Brownstone Men's Comics, back once again to give you my picks for comics that are hitting final order cutoff this coming Monday night or Sunday if you're DC or Lunar Distribution. But we have some great books, I'm not going to waste any time this week, we're going to jump right into it right now, starting with that great book from IDW, that's right, we're talking Canto 3, Lionhearted number 2, just had issue number 1 come out, just had the creators on this channel interviewing them, talking about this whole Lionhearted arc, fantastic story, starting from Kanto into Clockwork Fairies, into Hollow Men, into City of Giants, we are now into Lionhearted, this keeps building on itself, definitely going to keep picking this up, issue 2, hitting FOC this coming Monday from IDW. Also from IDW, we get that Star Wars Adventures Always talk about how much I love these Star Wars Adventure stories. Here we're getting a one-off series from that Star Wars Adventures High Republic and the Monster of Temple Peak. And we're also getting a first appearance in this issue with Ty York, former Jedi turned saber for hire monster hunter. I keep talking about how much I love the Star Wars Adventures High Republic better than the Marvel series. And I continue to do so. I do like the Marvel series, but Star Wars Adventures High Republic. We're getting this one-off series, and we got a first appearance, so this is definitely one I'm pre-ordering. Then from Marvel, we get Avengers Tech on number one. This one intrigues me because all the Avengers get outfitted by Tony Stark, bringing us the Iron Avengers, so to say. They're all getting armor from Tony Stark. And it's got a great Peach Momoko cover. There's a couple other great variants. There's a toy variant. But this is Sentai-inspired series, and it is in partnership with Bandai Namco from Japan, which does a lot of those great Sentai toys. So you never know where the tie-ins might occur to this coming out of this series. I like it for the read. I like it for the premise. But I'm picking some up, just going to stash it away, because you never know what might come out of this series with that partnership with Bandai Toys. But from Marvel, we're also getting that Miles Morales Spider-Man number 29. So this issue looks to be the epilogue to the Clone Saga. And they are saying that it's going to leave Miles' life permanently changed. And the solicitor, of course, says they are not blowing that out of proportion. But they'll always say that to get you to buy. Either way, Miles Morales, great series. Been picking that up. Talked about it the past few issues specifically on this video. But this is one of my favorite ones that goes into my pull list. And... There's also a great games variant for it, regular priced. You kind of get that PS5 Miles Morales look on that cover. My kid loves that video game. I enjoyed that game, so I'll probably pick up a copy of that for him as well. Next up from Boom Studios, this is one series I've been looking forward to for quite a while now. We get Eat the Rich number one. Love the premise of this story. Kind of seems like a female protagonist type. If you've seen the movie Get Out, this kind of reminds me of that, reading the premise for it, going on vacation. But the town seems too good to be true, and there's something going on behind the scenes, and this series is going to play that out. Love that type premise. Love that movie, Get Out. And it's written by Hugo Award winner Sarah Haley. Preview pages that I've seen so far has great interior art. That interior art is by Pius Back. Bach. Probably said that name wrong, and I apologize. But the interior art is gorgeous, and there's some great covers for this as well. I also like the cover A, of course, but then if you're a fan of Jenny Frizen, there's a great Jenny Frizen cover. And of course, friends of the channel, the 616 Comics, they have their own store exclusive coming up for this. It will be going on sale momentarily. That art at this moment has not been approved to be released. So make sure you guys check out the616comics.com and on Facebook because I'm sure that reveal will be going up very shortly. But either way, fantastic series and looks like Boom is putting out another banger. Also from Boom Studios, here's one just my reader pick, my fandom from WWE and my huge fandom for The New Day. We get that second issue for WWE, New Day, Power of Positivity, New Day, has that positivity. But New Day's also taking on the shield, and it will remain to be seen if they can keep that power of positivity going 
throughout this issue. And one thing I really like about this is that cover B by Raza, absolutely gorgeous cover. Love everything on there. It's kind of got, you know, Kofi, Xavier, Big E, dressed in fantasy type costumes coming out of a box of bootios. Yes, if you're a fan of New Day, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not just making these words up. <laughs> I know it sounds kind of funny, but yeah, bootios. Either way, fan of WWE, fan of New Day, fan of Boom Studios, fan of Raza. Definitely, definitely, definitely keeping this one in my pull list. And speaking of fandoms, huge fan of Masters of the Universe, Dark Horse, we get that Masters of the Universe Revelation issue number two hitting FOC. Now we know that Netflix series is actually starting this coming Friday, July 23rd. This series is the official prequel to that Netflix series. And it is actually written by Kevin Smith himself. Love the first issue, second issue's coming up. Great one about second issue is we get a David Wilkins cover, one of the best Mass of the Universe artists out there. But we are also getting a Bill Sienkiewicz cover B for this. Another great cover. Great series, great covers. One of my favorite all-time fandoms in my lifetime. So, yes, I will be adding this to my pull box. Getting over to DC Comics again. DC Comics, remember they hit FOC a day earlier. I still have not heard about Diamond with the Marvel distribution right now. Diamond's website is still showing final orders due on Monday. That might change, so make sure you pay attention to your LCS and your orders online for final order cutoff. What I like from DC this week for final order cutoff, we get Batman number 89, issue number one. That's right, we are going back to that fantastic Tim Burton movie, Michael Keaton, who is my Batman. And what I like about this series is it's not really a straight adaption to that movie. It is actually covering plot lines that were left out or left hanging within that 1989 movie. That's why we're getting some Harvey Dent in here. So if you're a fan of that 1989 movie and you want to find pull the thread on some of that story a little bit, this is where you want to get on. Batman 89 issue number one hits final order cutoff this Sunday night. Also from DC and also keeping with Batman, we get I Am Batman number zero. So yes, this picks right up from that DC's Future State Batman Second Son series. So I so I like that we're seeing the new Batman, right? I know some people differ on that. I kind of like, hey, we get the regular Batman we know and we get a new Batman. That's always great for comics, great storylines. Either way, I also like the covers for this. I like the cover A, but just like I said for Masters of the Universe, we have a great Dave Wilkins variant. And there is also a Derek Chu variant. Both of those seem to be regular priced. I usually say pick the cover you like. In this case, I like all three. So I might be picking all three covers up. Either way, I am Batman number zero. Again, hits FOC this Sunday night. Which, of course, brings me into the additional or late printings that are hitting FOC this week as well. And from Marvel, we get Black Cat Annual Number 1 getting a second print. I, at this time, do not have the art for that. And also from Marvel, we get Daredevil Number 31 getting a second print. And then from Boom, Dark Blood Number 1, which doesn't even release until this coming week, has already sold out and is going to second print. Those are the type of issues that I like to pick up now because final art cutoff for the second print will already occur before that first issue comes out. Low risk, could be high reward. Either way, Dark Blood looks like a great series. Boom hasn't let me down yet. And then finally from DC Comics, one that definitely hasn't let people down, James Tynan, Nice House on the Lake. Issue number one is going back for a third print. So there it is, guys. Those are my picks for Final Order Cutoff this coming Monday slash Sunday. Let me know in the comments, what books are you guys picking up? What books have you guys enjoyed reading? And with that being said, this is Brian of Superman's Comics. See you guys in the next one.